The 780th Sergeant Alan Kim being recognized as the Distinguished Honor Graduate from the 780th Tool Developer Qualification Course. More on that story in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, more on the 504 plus Mead High Cyber Patriot Camp. These stories and more, but first a construction update. The MAPES Access Control Point, or ACP, at Maryland Route 175 is nearing completion. MeTV got a chance to get on the construction site and talk with the project engineer, Chaz Richard Tolbert. We're close to the end of the project. Um, a lot of the subsurface um, utility work has been completed. All of that has been completed. Um, most of the work that's remaining is interior work for the building and then some final um, touches for the pavement for the road. The first thing you may notice is how far away from 175 the ACP facility is. The road leading up to the facility snakes around for a couple hundred yards before you actually reach the building and inspection area. So this whole configure the snaking configuration is part of the Army standard design for access control points. Although the MAPES ACP facility is nearing completion, it doesn't mean that the gate will immediately reopen to traffic. With the um, security measures with the, with the ACP facility, there are some testing and commissioning that we have to go through once construction is completed. So there's a, there's a testing and commissioning part of that, and there's also um, um, adjacent projects going on that may impact the access for the actual facility itself. So there are a couple other moving factors with the project other than just the, con the completion of the construction. Chief among those adjacent projects is the completion of the intersection at MAPES and 175 by the State Highway Administration. This in all likelihood pushes the installation of the gate and access to traffic back to December. While the ACP facility is getting its final touches, phase two of the project is nearing completion as well. Phase two involves finishing the road that leads from the ACP building onto the post and the widening of MAPES Road. Stay tuned for further updates. Meanwhile, on our last show, we reported that the 504 shuttle bus that ran between Savage Mark Station, Fort Meade, and Piney Orchard is being replaced by what's being called the Crofton Connector. The change is scheduled to take place on August 11th. This week, the Maryland RTA released the timetable for the new service. The Crofton Connector will run from Crofton to Fort Meade via Watt Chapel and the Odenton Mark Station. Again, this change is taking place on August 11th. In other news, the Army needs more, for lack of a better term, more hackers. Currently, the number is in the dozens. Two years ago, the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade partnered with the University of Maryland, Baltimore County to design the Tool Developer course. It's an intensive 11th month course that officials say is equivalent to a four-year computer science degree. The course graduates computer programmers that are on the front lines in cyberspace operations. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Petullo is the Army's and 780th's lead developer of the Cyber Solutions Development Detachment. At the graduation, he described the traits of the best tool developers. The best developers have an intolerance for not understanding how something works. Indeed, this is a cornerstone of the hacker ethic. Given a system, what makes it tick? Pursuing this curiosity is absolutely crucial to your success as a developer. Honor graduate Sergeant Nicholas Camp says that although the course is over, it's just the beginning. So now that we do have positions for tool developers within our organization, this gives us the uh, foundational knowledge that we can build upon. Uh, it's going to allow us to progress uh, specifically for ourselves uh, in that role as it is currently being um, introduced to us. So we're the forefront of it and we don't have a, a full picture yet, but we are the beginning. In a related story, Mead High School kicked off this year's Air Force Association Cyber Patriot Camp Program. The program introduces students to cybersecurity and teaches them cyber defense skills through hands-on instruction. The instructors include Army, Navy, Air Force, and NSA personnel. Anne Arundel County computer science resource teacher Justin Sirota explains a little of what the students are learning. They, so they're going to be setting up their own networks uh, using virtual images. So there's not, they're not actually harming any, any actual systems. It's a, it's a virtual system. And so they're setting up that system. Um, generally the systems they, they get, the images they get, are not secure at all. And so it's their job to find out how to secure those as much as possible. The camp goes hand in hand with Mead High's Homeland Security Signature Program, which is being expanded all the time. Uh, and we actually have received a grant from the local development council for $381,000 to build our own cyber lab here at Mead High School. Um, this is a, a one of a kind kind of uh, kind of thing. It's it's uh, there's no nothing else like this in the state, and we feel that over the next few years, it's really going to be become a cybersecurity po uh, powerhouse. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.